Hey there, and welcome back to the boat shop. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit today about uh, installing skins, because we're super close to doing that uh, on the gasser. As you can see, we've added some parts there. We've got uh, one of our 3D printed drivers going along for a ride here. That looks about right to me. Uh, he's actually smaller scale, but uh, uh, we'll take care of that. Um, so as you can see, we've installed the sides of the rear portion of the boat, non-trips you might call it, and there's actually another piece to go on up underneath here. Uh, but here's how we do this. This piece, this is actually patterned. If you're gonna build this boat, I have these patterned out uh, so I can get you really, really close. But whatever boat you do, um, here's how I do it. As you can see, as you know, I'm binder clip crazy. This side uh, has just finished setting up, so it should be fine. But uh, you want this guy mounted nice and straight on here. You know, you see some boats, and um, this is not uh, passing judgment. I've done this, and that's partly how I know. Uh, but the, you'll see kind of a waviness or a waviness to the deck. Uh, I like the stuff to be nice and straight. So that's why I attach a straight piece here. You can see there's a piece of uh, angled aluminum uh, clipped onto this piece. Uh, what you're gonna do, this component, this piece, uh, is readied before it goes on the boat the bottom is cut nice and flat and straight uh, and then I attach the eighth inch reinforcement piece let's look at this over here I would attach the eighth inch to the lower before assembling it onto the boat right again whole bunch of binder clips attach this on there this piece I've cut nice and straight the bottom is perfectly straight if it's not Okay, maybe use the edge of a piece of ply or you just cut it out and you don't go really, really straight. That's no problem. Um, I use my uh, eight scale jig here and I just stick on some 80 grit and you can just come on here and sand this until you get her just nice and straight, right? Then when you're gonna mount it on the boat, so we've got our eighth inch glued onto it now at the lower and we're gonna mount it onto the boat. The only thing that matters, the only things that matter is where this notch is positioned, the lower notch here is positioned on the transom. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Up here, this needs to be exactly the same distance that you've got here. The lower is the same. I wind up poking the eighth inch piece you extend it off of your ply when you glue it on there and it pokes through a hole here which I've made in exactly the same distance and height from the jig as the notch that I have in the transom back here. Okay, these notches are designed into the plans. Do it on your own. Uh, these up here I add later just because I make weird decisions but I measure this from my jig make this hole exactly the same. So now when I'm ready to install this piece, it goes in with this piece notched in, this eighth inch that's attached to the back, notched in here, into this hole here. This piece lines up perfectly here. This one lines up here. And wherever these land on these bulkheads, don't care. We're not gonna put pressure in on them. Uh, if they're pushing out on the piece, well then we don't install it. We sand this guy here so that it's actually not even touching on the bulkhead. Can you see that? We got air there. And this spot gets only close and then just put a little epoxy there. We're just going to hold it here and down here. We're not going to hold it here. Why? Because wood moves. Wood does funny stuff. Later on and the boat is finished, you've seen this on, on boats. So I've, again, I've done it. If you have it epoxied at every stringer. Now this is true for the deck as well. Really important up here because you don't want this to be visible. If you've epoxied it here, over time, this wood's going to move. This large flat piece here is going to move more than this piece. It expands, contracts, does whatever it's gonna do. And in your nice glossy paint, you'll see where it dips in slightly. Everywhere you've got a bulkhead, you will see this in your finished product. 
It'll either dip in or it'll even push out. So give yourself clearance. Don't epoxy to it. Uh, you might be able to see there is epoxy there, but that's only because I sealed the uh, end of the bulkhead and I sealed that area on the wood here, just kind of getting that pre-done. Uh, but leave that gap, okay? Back here at the end, of course, we're finishing that off solidly and we are up in the front as well. Uh, just a little fillet there and it's got an eighth inch reinforcement rib back behind there. Okay, and so that way this guy will stay nice and straight for the life of the boat until, uh, until you screw up and get in somebody's way and they punch a hole in the side. And, but uh, it'll be easy to fix, trust me. Uh, so that's how we're going to get that nice and straight. That's how we did this one here. Don't care what you got to do to hold this. Clip it, do whatever you got to do, hold it straight, slap it on. Now the decking, okay, we're going to talk about this more when we get there. But here's the trick for that. I'd like to take credit for this, but I got this idea from David Brandt. Um, assuming we were going to lay the decking right now, remember I don't want to epoxy it all the way along here. And you don't just want to seal it and then seal the deck and wait till it dries and then assemble it. Because it'll get hot and that epoxy will get sticky and it'll stick. The deck will stick here and will stick on these bulkheads. And I'm telling you, you'll see it later on. And you'll be embarrassed. And you'll just feel like a bad builder. Don't be a bad builder. Uh, after I've sealed it, before the deck goes on, everywhere I don't want it to stick, I lay radio box tape on it. Just a little strip. You'd find this inside all my, all my wood boats. There'll even be a piece laid across here. But it'll extend all the way up to here. Of course, it'll get glued at the perimeter and also here as it drops away from the upper. But everything will get glued at the perimeter only. Okay, haven't finished laying these stringers on, but these will have radio box tape laying over them. This one will have radio box tape laying over it. This will be glued at the perimeter only and let the wood do what it wants to do. Okay, that'll give you just a really nice looking finish. Okay, uh, the last thing I'm going to mention, and we're going to talk about this later, okay, is the canard. I should have showed you uh, uh, the build process of this. I will show you when I build the wing portion. It, it's a very, very similar hull to this, uh, the adjustable wing portion. This is also carbon fiber tube, uh, much smaller carbon tube, and then uh, uh, foam in between, okay? You can use core cell or row cell foam, uh, any sort of a light foam. Uh, it's very easy sanding. It makes it really easy to install. Okay, I've just poked a couple holes. I have a one degree angle built into this. You're going to use your same uh, angle finder that we've used before doing other things. If you don't have one, go buy one. Amazon. Okay, they're dirt cheap. And you set it anywhere you want on your hull. Turn it on, zero it. And when you're gluing this guy on, you're going to put that right there. Put one degree in it, okay? You want just a little bit positive. Uh, and then we can adjust the right of the boat with our adjustable one back here. And I'll show you a super slick, super lightweight, lightweight way to mount that as well. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. Gosh, I can't wait to bolt that guy down. We've got all the mounts done. What I haven't done is put the pipe mount in yet. It'll land right about here. Uh, I may show you how to do that. Uh, I've had somebody uh, online, I was reading some stuff and they, they weren't sure how to mount uh, hardware. And so we'll probably talk about that a little bit more later too. Uh, a way to, to, to make these mounts solid, not just what you see now, but we'll actually over drill these holes and put in hard spots. I will show you that later. That's what I have for you today. Uh, get back in your shop, go build boats, uh, turn on my uh, playlists. I don't know how you find them. Somewhere you can find the playlist, just let them run. Uh, you should have your TV going anyway, right? For your, uh, your motivation in the background. Let the playlist run, it'll talk you through some things uh, and it'll, uh, it'll give me more clicks on my video which will stoke up my ego. Okay, all right. Thanks for watching. See ya.